a place, a paradise, eternally, and many pleasures there. And the people will live there and will not die. This is very important and big thing. Allah here in the ayah number 10, He says to us, Look, I created the heavens. Look at the sky. You see them? Okay. Then you can understand that I am able to create the paradise. Look at the sky. Can you see any end in the sky? You cannot see any end. The endless, the endlessness is already before you. So do not ask yourself and do not doubt how it will be. How it can be eternal, eternally. The answer here is already before you. Look at the sky. Can you see any end? Can you see any edge at the sky? Any limit in the sky? No. Allah, the only one God, already created the endlessness before you and you can see it. You can try to understand it and use any mean. By any means you can you will not be able to find the end the end of the sky. So it's clear for you that the Creator is able to create the endlessness. That life will be forever, that place will remain forever, and people in that place will receive and consume the pleasures of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forever. And they will be eternal there. And this issue is already proven. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala proved this issue in the sight of the human being. Look at the sky. Khalaqa samawati. Allah is the one who created the heavens. So the heavens is very important in the sight of the human being to understand that the Creator may create and able to create the endlessness, eternity. And it's a physical picture before us, in front of us, and we are aware about it. We can see it. We can understand it. Look how this planet, I mean this earth, how it is small in the sky, in this universe. And we cannot imagine and we cannot calculate how the, the, this universe is big or is there any end or not. We are only just thinking about it. It couldn't be proven that there is an end or not. We are just making some theories about the heavens and about the sky. But it's clear that we are in this universe as if nothing, we are so small according, according uh, the dignity of this universe. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when He says they will be eternally in that place in the heavens and they will live there without dying and they will receive pleasures and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without ending, without limitation. This issue, do not take it as, uh, as a joke, it's a real. And this reality is already proven in your life. Khalaqa samawati. He created the heavens. What do you need 
more than this proof, more than this evidence. Look at the heavens, look at the sky. He is the one who created them. And he created them without any pillars that you see. Without pillars that you see. When you look, you can you, you, you see you do not see any pillars. There is nothing visible. How the created 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 them? The Creator created them. Look at His ilm, His knowledge, His endless knowledge and His endless power. Look at it and take the lesson that Allah, of course, Allah will create the hereafter and of course Allah will admit the good people in his paradise and they will live there, live there forever. خَلَقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ بِغَيْرِ عَمَدٍ تَرَوْنَا Without any pillars that you see. Actually this ayah, it's not clear from the ayah that is there in reality any pillar but we do not see them. Or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says there is no pillar and you do not see and you are aware about it that there is no pillar but there is the sky and there is many planets many stars a big environment surrounding this life this earth how could be arranged in this way who is the one who created them and who is the one who runs them? Look at the sky and try to understand the power of Allah and try to understand the endless creation of the only one God. And he said on the earth mountains rawasiya wa alqa fil ardi rawasiya it's not something randomly the cre the creation of the earth and the mountains allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says we set them on the surface of the earth we set them on the earth because there is a reason an tamida bikum lest it should shake with you we created this earth and you can see how it is stable. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stabilized them and land way on the earth and you can now walk on it and you can sleep on it. It, do not, it, do, it does not shake with you. You can sleep on it and it is just a planet. without any ground Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the creator provided all these things for you and you should understand that he has that knowledge and he has that power and he shows you in this creation that he is able to create such rewards in the hereafter and it's a scientific miracle of the Qur'an that Qur'an talks about the mountains that, the, that uh, they stabilize this planet and lest it should shake with you if there is no mountains there wouldn't be a stabilization the earth wouldn't be like today it would move you it would move us and we, uh, we, would, we would not be able to walk on it and we would not be able to build our house on it we would not be able to live on it so there, the creator created this planet 
and made it stable for our life and prepared everything according our need وَأَلْقَى فِي الْأَرْضِ رَوَاسِيَ أَنْ تَمِيدَ بِكُمْ وَبَثَّ فِيهَا مِنْ كُلِّ دَابَّةِ And look at this earth. Allah, He scattered on this earth every kind of animal. You can see many kind of animal whose number do not know only by the one who created them. He is the only one who knows them. How many 